Hey everyone, it's Neri and I'm finally doing my online classes. Today's class is going to focus on releasing tension in your lower body. So looking at releasing the hips, the hamstrings, the lower back, the glutes, but it's also going to be a whole body release in the end. So we're going to start at the top of the head and flow all the way down towards the feet and have a whole body release, releasing any tension in the muscles and just allowing clear flow of energy and removing any areas of stagnation. So we can allow prana, life force energy to enter the body and to enter into the darkest areas of our bodies where we might be holding a lot of pain or tension. So the main points I would love for you to focus on in today's practice, firstly and most importantly, the breath. So the breath is our foundation of our yoga practice. Without the breath, there is no yoga. So at this practice and every practice we'll be doing together, we'll be looking at cultivating what we call diaphragmatic breathing. So a lot of us, when we first begin yoga, begin to breathe into the upper chest area. And we want to start to invite the breath a little deeper down towards the belly and the rib cage, and then finally up into the chest. So I'm going to guide you with that in today's practice. And the most important thing that I would love for you to begin to cultivate is to use this throughout your yoga practice. When the mind becomes busy, we come back to our breathing, back to the present moment, back to where we are right now, and back to our yoga practice. And then the other thing I wanted to bring up is to move with your own breath. So to find your own rhythm throughout your practice, never to hold the breath, to allow the breath to find an even, comfortable, and relaxed rhythm so that there's no stress there whatsoever. Now, what do we need to wear? as something as comfortable as you can, so pajamas, uh, yoga pants, whatever you have lying around. And also we're gonna need a, a couple of blocks. If you don't have blocks, then we can use um, some books or a bolster, and then also a yoga strap like this one. So if you don't have one, you can use a scarf or a towel or anything else that you've got laying around in the house. And of course, your yoga mat. So get yourself ready and I'll meet you on the mat in a moment. Namaste. So any comfortable seated position today, we're going to start in Sukhasana, cross-legged position if that doesn't feel good for you. Alternatively, you can sit up on a block to elevate the hips and just help to keep that length in the spine, especially if there's a lot of tightness in the lower body, which we're going to release today, so it's going to feel much better after the class. And we're going to start today's practice just taking a very big, deep inhale through the nose and exhaling out of the mouth. Two more, breathe in and out. Last one, breathe in and out. Good, and from here, we're going to inhale to roll the shoulders up around the ears and exhale to relax and down. Breathing in and out through the nose. Inhale to roll the shoulders up. Exhale to soften down. One more. Inhale. Roll the shoulders up. Squeeze them all the way to the ears. And then exhale to release them all the way down. Good. And from here, let's take a few moments just to tune into, firstly, our natural so just becoming aware of how the breath feels in the body today. Lengthening the spine up, relaxing the shoulders down, relaxing the face, releasing any tension from your jaw. And bring all your awareness towards your breathing. Without changing or altering the breath in any way right now, just observing the gentle rising and falling of your breath. to place 
place one hand towards the belly and rib cage and one hand just from the center of the chest to our heart space. Feel your heart beating. Feel your body. And surrender to the present moment. Feel your body breathing. side so now we're going to place the left hand under the bum and you're gently going to bring your right ear to the right shoulder so this top hand we want to try not to force or pull so we're just gently placing the hand there and then stretching just a little more but not to a point where there's any tension or forcefulness and breathe there 
now we can drop the chin to the armpit. Taking a few breaths there. really funny but it feels really really good I really recommend doing them every day so do around uh, five circles in each direction you're going to hear lots of clicking and crunching as well <clears throat> chin to the chest. As we inhale, lifting, opening the heart, drawing the shoulders back, maybe gazing up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, rounding the spine, bringing the belly in, chin to the chest. <clears throat> inhale, as you arch, opening the heart, breathing into the heart and chest. And then as you exhale, rounding through the spine, drawing the belly in, chin to the chest. Good, inhale, opening the heart, opening the chest, gazing up, and then exhale, rounding, coming all the way in. Good, now this time, inhale, opening the heart and chest, and then taking the arms all the way back, interlocking the hands behind the back. Good, exhale there, and then inhale, lift the shoulders back towards each other, lift the arms, lift the arms all the way back opening the chest. Here I recommend just to drop the chin down so we're not bringing any unnecessary tension into the neck area. Drop the chin down, gaze down towards the floor, breathe. Let's take another three breaths. fingers forwards, bring the chin to the chest, good, and do a little movement side to side, so over to the right side, over to the left side, just whatever feels good for your body, so just move into it a little bit, maybe you want to do some circles, whatever feels nice for you, really rounding in the back and releasing tension in the back, what might feel nice is to bring the arms all the way down towards the floor and the outer edges of the knees. See if it was really nice stretch through the back, but also through the side body. Good, and then from there, <clears throat> let's slowly release it out. I'm going to do a little side body bend. <clears throat> so we're going to bring our left hand down towards the floor. So I'm mirroring you guys. Bring the left hand down towards the floor. Inhale. Reach the right arm up, and then exhale, side body bend. A couple of shoulder circles first. <clears throat> so we're going to circle clockwise first. So circling three circles in this direction, just in your own breath. So the breath follows up. As we open the chest, we inhale. And as we exhale, we close. And then changing direction, other way. Three big circles as you open the heart. I'm going to breathe in, and as you close, as we breathe out. 
and then continue all the way down after that third circle into that side body bend, deepening the stretch through the right side of the body. You can even drop down on the forearm if that feels better for you. Breathe here. With every exhale, just releasing, just a little more, finding a little more space in the body. Make sure there's no tension in the neck. Good. Take one more deep breath in and out. And we inhale to come all the way up and just sway to the other side, really easy. Dropping the right hand down towards the floor, side body bend through the other side now. <clears throat> Good. Some circles. So it doesn't matter which direction you go. Okay, we're going to inhale as we open up the heart. Exhale as we close. So really creating space and opening in the shoulder. If it feels too much for you, you can keep the circles a little smaller and bend the elbow as well. And change in direction three circles other way. Final exhale, you come a little deeper into that side body bend, side stretch, reaching all the way over. You can drop down on the forearm or stay higher up, depending on what feels good for your body. Keep rooting down through the opposite hip as well. So we're not lifting up, but we're deepening that stretch, finding length through both sides of the body. Breathe here. Might feel a little nicer for the neck just to drop the chin down. One more deep breath in and out. Well done. Inhale all the way up. And this time as we exhale, we're going to twist. So we're going to bring left hand behind us and right hand onto the left knee. On the inhale, to lengthen the spine all the way up. And then we're going to exhale to twist. So we're going to rotate from the belly, then the rib cage, then the chest and shoulders forward, and then we gaze all the way back towards that left shoulder. Inhaling to lengthen the spine, exhaling to deepen the twist. Good, on the four, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale to lengthen. Back. As we inhale, we're going to arch through the lower back. Good. And then 
And as you exhale, you're going to tuck the pelvis under and round all the way into the lower back. So the focus is on the lower back for these. You're going to inhale to arch, focusing on the lower back. So just um, keeping the movement there, the focus and awareness there. space between the shoulder blades, chest. So as we inhale, arch, open up the heart, we gaze up, stretch out the front of your throat. And as you exhale, round all the way into the upper back, the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, to arch, lift, open the heart, gaze up, focusing on the heart chakra here. And as we exhale, round and stretch out the space between the shoulders, chin to chest. One more, inhale. Opening and lifting the heart, and then exhaling to round. Good. Now, from here, we're going to stretch our arms all the way out in front of us. <clears throat> so, keeping the knees below the hips, stretching the fingertips forwards. And we're going to do a little side body stretch first. I'm just going to move that block. We're going to bring the arms all the way over towards the left side, stretching out. Breathe through the right side of the body. We're just going to take a couple of breaths in each one. Really tune into your breathing. Bring your awareness back towards the breath to that deep diaphragmatic breathing. Focus on releasing stagnation in the body, releasing any pockets of blockages or stuck energy in the body. Good, and then slowly lifting up. And coming over to the other side, so bringing your arms all the way over towards the right side, stretch out through the left side of the body. Breathe here. Breathe all through the left side of the body. Good, and then from there, slowly come back to where we started, puppy pose. From here, we're going to come on to the fingertips. If that doesn't feel good, just keep the hands flat down. Knees below the hips. We're going to inhale. Lift and roll the spine up. And then exhale, lower the chest and chin towards the floor. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. slide back onto your heels, take the knees please a little wider in a wide knee child's pose and then we're going to rest down. You can bend at the elbows, maybe bring the forehead onto the hands, give the shoulders and arms a little rest. And the wider we take the knees, the deeper the opening through the inner thighs and the hips. Breathe there. Rest and relax. through. So we're going to thread the right arm under and you're going to bring your left arm to the top of the mat. And we're just going to take a few breaths there, just releasing through the right shoulder, through the arm. Good. Relax and breathe. Come towards your breathing. Become aware of the breath in the belly, in the rib cage. And the more 
that we practice, the more that the breath becomes really, really comfortable. And we can always draw our awareness back towards our breathing. Please don't worry if your mind is distracted today. Know that it's just part of our practice. Good, and then slowly release out of it, lift up. Then just other side, you're gonna slide the right arm to the top of the mat, thread the left arm under to bring the left shoulder to the floor, and breathe here. So the left arm that you're threading through, the palm is facing up towards the ceiling. And we just relax here, so feel a sense of heaviness in the body as the body relaxes into the posture with every exhale. And from there, slowly lift up. Good. And here, we're going to slide our legs towards the top of the mat, and we're going to do some spinal rolls. So this is one of my favorite movements to do. Uh, first thing in the morning, do an extension in the spine and just a massage in the spine. So in terms of breathing, we're going to inhale as we come up and then we're going to exhale as we come back and only come to a point that feels comfortable for your body. Every time we go into it, we'll feel that the body is opening up a little bit more. So bringing the feet onto the floor, bending the knees, we're going to take a big deep inhale and then we're going to exhale and roll back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Now move with your own breath. So you're massaging all the way up into your upper back and shoulders. Please don't worry if your feet don't come to the back. It doesn't matter. Just wherever your body feels comfortable. You can straighten the legs or keep the knees bent. comfortable for you to come all the way back into Halasana, you can. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to come into Halasana in a moment. So you can either continue with your rolls, if you need to rest, and you can just come and lay flower to your back. Otherwise, if you would like, you can come into Halasana with me. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to tuck the shoulders under, lengthen through the spine, and then we're going to interlock the hands or have the palms facing down. We're going to take a few breaths here. Good. Bring the chin away from the chest. Breathe. Allow the breath to find a steady rhythm again after all that movement. slowly release out of this so we can release the arms and then slowly using the core release the spine back down into the mat. Good. Well done. Now from here we're going to rest our left leg down towards the floor and we're going to hug our right knee in. Firstly, I'm just going to shuffle back a little bit. Firstly, we're just going to hug the knee towards the right armpit. So we're just going to squeeze that right knee all the way in towards the right armpit, keeping the shoulders relaxed, just letting the arms and hands do the work. With every exhale, squeeze it in a little more. Keep breathing. Good, and then shuffle the knee over towards the center of the chest. Keep breathing, following your breath as it enters and leaves the body. Become aware of your breathing. The ebb and flow of your breath. And then from there, let's straighten that right leg. If we can, interlock the hands around the back of the thigh. Circle the foot. Circles with your feet, but a couple of circles in each direction. Good, and then you're going to point the toes up towards the ceiling. Taking a few breaths there, you can feel this all through the front of the foot, the ankle, the shin. Good, and then from there, flex the foot. 
draw the toes in towards the chest. Breathe, fill this with the back of the legs through the calves, the hamstrings. And now from here, bend your left knee, place the left foot on the floor, and then cross your right ankle on top of your left knee. We're going to bring the right arm through the gap in the middle of the legs, the left arm to the outside, and we're going to interlock the hands around the left shin or the thigh if you can't reach, okay? Or you can use your strap if that's a little easier for you. So we're going to take a big deep inhale here. And then we're going to exhale and squeeze the legs in towards the chest. You're going to feel this all through the right hip and the glute. Shoulders stay soft and relaxed. Relax your face. Soften your jaw. Relax your eyes. If you feel that you're holding tension in the face, a really nice thing to do is just smile. <laughs> this instantly releases any tension and removes the seriousness of our practice. Remember that your practice is a celebration of life, it's a celebration of your body, of your whole life. So take some time to smile throughout your practice and enjoy your practice. And every exhale, squeeze it in just a little more. it out. Now you will need your strap from here so we're going to grab our strap, place it around the right foot and extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. So if you want to keep it a little softer, if this is feeling really tight for you today, bend your left knee, place the left foot on the floor, okay? Otherwise, straighten the leg out if you want a bit of a deeper opening. So these movements, these hip circles, amazing for releasing tension in the hips, the glutes, the hamstrings, also releasing tension in the lower body. Remember, everything is connected. So if I'm holding a lot of tension and tightness and stagnation in, for example, the hamstrings, the hips, then that's also going to cause tension in my lower back. So that's why today we focused on whole lower body release. So these hip circles, I'm gonna grab the strap, whichever hand, you'll see what works better for you. We're gonna do five circles in each direction. Okay, so I like to grab my strap with my right hand, left hand stays on the left hip to stabilize. I'm going to inhale, circling the leg out to the right, then all the way away from you. And then exhale, circling all the way to the left and back in towards the chest. Inhale to the right, all the way away from you. So you're finding this range of movement. What is your main range of movement here in the hips? And then exhale to the left and back in. Good. Three, inhale. Exhale to the left and back in. Good. Inhale to the right and all the way away from you. Exhale to the left and back in. Good. One more in this direction. Inhale to the right and all the way away from you. Exhale to the left and back in. Change direction. Inhale to the left. All the way away from you. Exhale to the right and back in. Oh, that was my click you heard there. Inhale to the left, all the way away from you. Exhale to the right and back in. Inhale to the left and away from you, following your own breath. Inhale to the left and away from you. Exhale back in. Last one. Inhale to the left and away from you. Exhale back in. Good. Now we're going to move into a little hip opener. So grab the strap with the right hand, left hand on the left hip, shoulders relax. Breathe in. Exhale. Open the right hip to the right side, only to a point that feels good for your body, okay? So remember the point here isn't to get to the floor and lift through the left hip. We want to keep, keep the left hip rooted down and then keep drawing that right hip in and up, in and up, in and up, only to a point that feels good for you. If you can hold the foot, that's also fine. It's a little more of a deeper stretch, but see how your body's feeling. Drop the head to look towards the left shoulder. Breathe here for another nine breaths.
wonderful deep breaths in and out. So a little supine twist. We're going to grab the strap with the left hand, right arm comes onto the floor, palm up. Readjust so the shoulders are flat onto the floor. Breathe in. And then as we exhale, we're going to bring that right leg over to the left side. So just a little point here. If you can, keep the shoulders flat onto the floor. So we don't want to lift that shoulder up so that the right foot drops to the floor. We want to keep the shoulders flat, readjust, and then feel that twist rotation from belly. So you're rotating from the belly and then we're feeling this opening all through the glute, through the hip and through the lower back. If this is too much for you, you can release the strap completely, bend the knee. If that's still too much for you, you can stack the legs on top of each other and just take it a little easy. Gaze towards your right hand. Again, if you can reach the toe, you're welcome to for today's practice. Let's take another Seven breaths. Take this opportunity of silence and quiet to come to your breathing. It's an opportunity to begin to cultivate your meditative practice, coming back to the breath, quieting the mind, quieting all that noise and busyness in the mind, and just coming to stillness. Well, this makes it a little softer if it's just feeling too intense through the hamstring. And you can bend the right knee as well. Take a big deep breath in, five breaths here. And then as you exhale, you're going to squeeze that leg in towards you. Okay, I recommend today just to keep the head and shoulders flat on the floor. Not to lift up, just to not cause any unnecessary tension in the upper body. Take another four breaths.
towards the center of your chest or imagine that you want to bring your knee to your chin and breathe there. And then from there, we're going to bend our right knee, place the right foot onto the floor and just cross your left ankle on top of the right knee. Gap in the middle of the legs, the right arm to the outside of the right leg. Interlock the hands, take a big deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze in. So you're squeezing in the shin all the time, wherever feels comfortable for your body. Shoulders stay soft and relaxed. Soften your jaw, maybe step with the jaw. Smile and breathe. shaking, maybe bend the knee a little bit more. Good. Circle the foot. And remember, when you're moving through your practice, to find a sense of comfort and ease. This is called stira and sukha yoga. So finding comfort and ease in each posture. Yoga is not about pushing yourself past your limits. It's about coming to the end of the stretch where it feels really, really intense releasing it just a little so that we are creating a wonderful deep stretch without any pain or tension. If you feel the body shaking or you're no longer able to breathe comfortably, it means that you're pushing yourself too far. Remember to practice with compassion and love to yourself and to your body. Good. Now grab your strap <clears throat> or your sock, your blanket, whatever you're using today, interlock this, uh, sorry, place the strap around the foot. And we're going to start with some hip circles first. Okay, so we're going to circle towards the left side first with this one. So right hand on the right hip maybe. We're going to inhale, circle out to the left and all the way away from you. So finding that full range of movement. Exhale into the right and all the way back in. Inhale into the left, all the way away from you. If you feel any pain, just take smaller circles. And then exhale to the right, all the way back in. If that still doesn't feel good, you can bend the knee, inhale to the right, all the way away from you. Exhale to the right back in. Good, two more. Inhale to the left, all the way away from you. Exhale back in. Good, last one. Inhale to the left, all the way away. Exhale to the right and back in. Change direction, inhale to the right, all the way away from you. Exhale to the left, <clears throat> back in towards you. Inhale to the right, all the way away from you. Exhale to the left, back in. Inhale to the right, all the way away from you. These movements are wonderful for your hip joints if you have any pain in the hips. Exhale to the left, back in. Two more, inhale. 
out to the right and away from you. Exhale to the left and back in. Inhale to the right and away from you. Exhale to the left, back in towards you. Now we're going to come into that hip opener. So grabbing the strap with the left hand or the foot, you can reach right hand on the right hip. Breathing deeply. And as we exhale, we drop that left leg out to the left side. So you might find one side is a lot tighter for you than the other. Keep breathing here and we're taking 10 breaths. So if you feel that one side is a lot more tight than the other, for example, this is definitely my tighter side, I'm going to spend in my own practice, in my own time, I'm going to spend a bit more time in that, on that side so I can begin to bring balance into the body. And we're gazing towards the right shoulder and breathing. Drawing the hip in and up. You can bend the knee if it's too much. You can even bend the other knee if that's a little easier and more comfortable for your body. Always adjust, adjust. Make it suit your body. left arm on the floor, palm up, breathe in, and then exhale to bring the left leg over to the, the right side. So from here, what you might find happening is shoulder lifting, you can readjust so the shoulders are flat down, face towards your left hand, you can grab the foot if that's available for you, don't worry if not, you can bend the knee or bend both knees towards the right side if that's feeling better for your body today. Breathe here, another nine deep breaths. welcome to. Breathe here. I recommend resting or rooting the right side down. So sometimes I use my opposite hand, my right hand should press down gently. Good. Take another four. out to the sides. How lovely does your body feel now at the, nearly at the end of our practice. Notice all the changes, maybe tap the legs down, shake them out, stretch the arms up, have a lovely whole body stretch. Good. And then from here, we're going to come into a supportive bridge or a final posture, if I can find my other block. So we're going to use our blocks for this, or your bolster, or books, uh, DVDs, whatever you've got that can work as blocks. So we're going to bring the feet about hip width apart, drawing the heels in towards the bum. And we're just going to slide these blocks under uh, the lower back, so if you think under the, um, at the base of your spine, at the pant line. We're going to lift our hips up and then we're going to place, so we're just going to try one first and see how that feels. 
take some time to adjust so that the block is in a comfortable place and your lower back feels really, really comfortable. Okay, so that might take some shuffling. As I'm not there, I can't obviously help and adjust you. So you can adjust yourself and just make sure that it feels supported. So you can try with just one if that feels really comfortable for you. And I recommend to try another block so you can slide another one under. I sometimes use three as well if it's feeling like that kind of day. Make sure you're comfortable, adjust. You can take the feet a little wider away. And for me, I like to bring my arms up overhead. So here we're gonna to start to feel a really wonderful release through the pelvis, through the hip flexors, also release through the lower back. The lower back's completely supported, so it's effortless here. Arms can be out to the sides or up overhead. There's a really wonderful stretch through the arms, through the chest. And we're gonna stay here just for a little while. This is our final posture for today's practice. Sometimes what I love to do as well is to stretch my legs out. But you want to make sure that there's no tension in the lower back if you're doing that. You might need to readjust through the blocks. And this is a wonderful release for hip flexors as well and also through the psoas. So we're just finding this wonderful sense of letting go. So straight, you can bend the knees, bring the heels back in. And then we're going to lift up so that we can release the blocks from under us. Slowly release down upper back all the way down to the lower back and just feel the wonderful changes that we've created. And we're going to end today with some belly breathing. So we're going to bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop out towards the sides. Another really nice alternative to this is just to place the blocks under the knees, especially if you feel that the legs are shaking and it's difficult to hold the body in that position. You want to relax completely here, so you can use your blocks if you like. Place your hands onto your lower belly and we're going to come to some deep belly breathing, which is a wonderful breath to practice if you ever feel anxious or stressed, worry, if the mind is really, really excessively busy, if you're having trouble sleeping, then you can practice some deep belly breathing come to a place of calm, serenity. So hands rest onto the lower belly. We're going to imagine now as we inhale, the belly is rising almost like a balloon. And then as you exhale, the belly falls and sinks. So we're focusing and isolating the breath. The belly, the lower back. Resting the hands onto the lower belly. Shoulders relax now, jaw relaxes. 
As you inhale, feel the belly rising and expanding like a balloon. And as you exhale, the belly relaxes and releases. Feel the belly rising as you breathe in. One breath flows into the next effortlessly. Now with this belly breathing today, I'm going to allow you to also combine a mantra, so hum. So we chant so as we inhale and hum as we exhale, but silently in our minds so we're not chanting out loud. We're just repeating the mantra. So hum simply means I am that I am, and so is the sound of the inhale. Hum is the sound of the exhale. Now to get us started with this, I am going to chant the mantra for you, and then after a while I will feel silent and we will continue to mentally chant the mantra. So empty the breath from your body. Inhale into the belly. So.
side. Just take a few breaths there on your side, relaxing. Thank you. 
humbleness and gratitude. And we're going to finish with a beautiful mantra which translates to May rulers of the earth keep the path of virtue protecting the welfare of all beings. May all people be blessed. May all beings everywhere be happy, healthy, and free. Swasti prajpaya paripalayantam Nyayena margena mahi, mahi isha. Go brahmanipya, subhamamanityam. Loka samasta, sukhinu bhavantu. Loka samasta, sukhinu bhavantu. Loka samasta. practices guide us to a kind, compassionate, and peaceful home.